out for blood. The police have cleared her of the killing and that she want to talk to the press to get their story out, said a reporter on the news. I knew the victim as a member of my club only we were sort of friends, said the innocent woman, I don't want to offend the victim's family they for their loss, the lady was in tears not acting real tears. Why did you kill him? asked a reporter. I didn't I was cleared by the police, said the crying woman. The jury is still out on that, said another reporter. I was cleared by the police, said Astra Damani Gray the Vampire Queen starting to realize it was trial by media. She was now wishing she'd accepted help from her grandfather who knew the law as a lawyer and coroner. Did you take the victim dancing at Rookies, asked a reporter. I don't know it was last year may have, said the confused accused. Rockies opened this year. A news anchor said later after the interview which was more like a group of sharks smelling blood in the waters. It was more than apparent no one had bothered to inform the Queen what the allegations were and no one did their homework. The anchor said. I must point out I am her grandfather, said Dr. Blake Alexander. He looked her age neither were human. Blake was not a vampire he like her was an alien who didn't age beyond the age of 25. Blake was the host of the crime report on the King Network a cable channel. I may not be Jenny on media or the, the media show, Blake said they were show which critiqued the media's behavior. But I think Jane Cornwall and her channel didn't ask the Queen for her side of the story and the reason Cornwall I believe did the expose was because she was close to the alleged victim, Blake said. Kerry O'Connor is in her town to get feedback of the man and woman on the street, hello Kerry. Hello Blake, I'm in Charing Cross to talk to the locals, said O'Connor, hold a microphone outside Rocky's club with a few people. I stopped these people to ask them what they think of the case, said O'Connor. Who de turned to an old lady. What do you think about the case, asked O'Connor. I feel sorry for her the reporters were so mean said the old lady in the mic. O'Connor turned to a young goth teenage boy not sure what to make of the boy. What do you think of the case? asked O'Connor. She was framed she's a good person really she doesn't stalk people to kill she drinks cow's blood, said the boy who looked like the prince of darkness or a vampire himself. Are you a vampire? asked O'Connor. No I'm an emo goth, said the boy. There was a voiceover from Blake. He's her cousin Lance Alexander Jr., my grandson, said Blake. Kerry tell the boy he doesn't need to defend her the police have acquitted the queen and the victim said not to proceed with the case against her. It was not her family wanted to have her charged it was a friend who leaked document to the press, said O'Connor reciting what Blake said. But she's innocent, said the boy. I know, recited O'Connor. The only one who knows who killed the victim is the killer. Recited O'Connor, I will won't let the killer get away. With this if I have to move heaven and earth to find them. The boy looked at the reporter strangely. I'm quoting, said O'Connor. All right then, said the boy. Later in office in the afterlife a grim reaper sat in a chair at a paper littered table signing and read papers. Another reaper walked into the room. Hey dad find anything new on the Astra front? The reaper who entered the room said. The killer was a vampire, said the signing reaper. Nothing new doesn't the victim's ghost know his killer? said the son. No he doesn't he only thinks he was wrong about Astra, he said she wasn't hunting him he was paranoid, said the father. Any suspects? asked the son. Someone who hates Astra or the victim, said the father. Well done Captain Obvious did you think that up or did someone else, the son said sarcastically. I know it's obvious, said the frustrated father. Those two never had a good relationship. I called you here for help not a snide comments but I should expect them from a serial killer, you are as bad as vampires I have to clean up after you, the father said coldly. Dad, a voice said. What is it Junior? asked the reaper son turning to his son the prince of darkness. I heard about the victim going to the police with a friend of his, said the prince of darkness. Yes, said his grandfather who was Blake the local coroner also. 
Who was the friend? asked the prince. I'll look, said Blake rummaging through his papers. I can't believe it, said Blake. What? asked his son Lance Sr. It was Jane Cornwall, Blake said. No wonder she did the expose, said Lance Sr. Is she a vampire? asked the prince. I will go and see coming you too? asked Blake. How did you get in my locked dressing room? asked Jane Cornwall seeing three human men in her dress room. Excuse me, said Blake pulling a cross out of thin air and touched her head with it. It burns, shouted the reporter. Yes she's a vampire, Junior, why did you kill John Franklin? said Blake. What are you? asked the reporter. The coroner, said Blake's bowing his head slightly. How can you be here? asked Jane. That doesn't matter what matters is why you kill your friend and frame the Queen of Vampires? Blake said. I see you are fishing. I'll bite. I set up the Queen and the made the poor fool think she was hunting him and made him come to the police to say she was hunting him he realized I tricked him and cancel the formal case against the Queen. I had to kill him. No one made anything of it. So I had to do the news article. There was a fear all the police cleared her so she came out to protect the rest of us vampire from the vengeance of man and the press to my surprise saw her as fair game they are more bloodthirsty than vampires, said Jane. Uncle Simon did you hear that? asked Blake. Uncle Simon? asked the confused Jane. Moments later the room was full of policemen. Yes, Blake, said a policeman. How? Huh? Where did they come from? asked Jane. They were there I just enchanted you so did not see them, said Blake. You? Are you a magician? asked Jane. Obviously, said Blake.